In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello again everyone and welcome back. This is day 28 here of season 2. It is my birthday and let me tell you something. I have an absolute whopper cooked up today. The most insanely atrocious plan ever. It is almost certainly not going to go very well. I can't wait to get on into it so let's dive on in. I've been searching for any way possible to avoid doing agility laps. And I think I may have found a terrible, terrible alternative that I'm going to go with anyway. Alright, let's kick things off just by getting this crap in that I had in my invent. And if my clicks are all over the place today, my excuse is new mouse plus keyboard. My scroll seemed slow then. New mouse and keyboard, so yeah. Maybe slight teething issues from that today. Lovely stuff, let's get on out there. This is either going to be the best idea I've had on the account, or the worst. I'm fairly certain it's the worst. But I just can't figure out how good the experience rates are going to be until I've given it a whack. Because the actual experience that I'm planning to be getting is going to come from a few different places. I just, I just can't figure out how good it's going to be. I think I'm going to try it for most of the session, though. I'm keeping suspense, but don't worry, we're almost there. We're almost there. We just have to place this last birdhouse. We can go straight to our next destination. Alright, that's all the birdhouses. Time to go to our next destination. Oh, I can't take Scurry down there with me. See you later, buddy. That's right, folks. We're going to the underwater agility course that I bet a bunch of you didn't even know existed. Unfortunately, with no flippers on our feet, we're going to be relegated to this speed for the entire time we're down here. Because I can't get flippers without like 35 Slayer or something. And I just don't think that's going to be worth it. It's so long since I've done this. Let's just figure out where we want to be sat. I need to find a pocket really. Don't know where all the shortcuts go. Oh, it just moved. Okay. So I will explain this game as I get into it here. This uh, area for those who are less familiar. I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, got to go through this obstacle. Hopefully it doesn't move by the time I get there. So yeah, there's a bunch of chests and clams, and every, I think it's every minute, it moves to a new location, and you just go and search the chest or the clam for as long as you can, basically. Uh, there's a bunch of shortcuts all over this place. I don't know where any of them really lead, and you've got your oxygen level you've got to manage. Which is why I'm staying in this bubble right now. Just to get my oxygen up. Now, the very first chest you do, you don't get anything from it, unfortunately. I'm going to see where this takes me. I also was not expecting to get twatted by these, but... That's middle of fucking nowhere, innit? Let's go through this hole, see where that takes us, if it's anywhere near that. Should have maybe brought food. I just didn't think I'd be getting hit by it. Maybe when I did this before I was a higher combat level. Okay, now we've gone into... Jeez. This place is honestly a maze. I think I'm just going to go back through, wait for it to move. Okay, I'm not sure if it's moved recently or if that's where it's been. I need to get out of these currents. They make you go in directions you're not trying to. I feel like it's just moved to there. I'm going to try and get to it. Hopefully it doesn't move as soon as I do. Because as I've actually gained nothing so far in the five minutes that I've been here. Which isn't ideal. It's not really what you're aiming for. Come on, Mr. Clam. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just moved. 
Okay, okay, we're kind of close. Is there a close way to get there? I think it's like down... I feel like just... Oh, if I'd flip it, it'd be so much easier, wouldn't it? Can I not... How, I, don't, I don't know how to get down there. I hate this place already. <laughs> Five minutes in. Wait, is that where I just came from? Oh, I swear to God I was down there a second ago. Was it this that I came through? No, that's put me in the middle of fucking nowhere. I'm just gonna have to wait for it to move. It's just moved right here. Just moved right here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're gonna have to stop in this air bubble though to get our oxygen back up before we actually loot it. I'll get one or two in and then... Because you can spam this as well. You get... Uh, I think it's like guaranteed on the first time. Then after that, you might get damaged. I don't know if I'm supposed to be spamming it or not. Oh my gosh. I forgot it sapped your breath as well. Ah, I kept failing. The next one is not too far, but we need more oxygen. So we get mermaids tears and glistening tears. Now, one of these is the currency used in a shop, and the other one buys experience, either for agility, thieving, or both, with much better rates for thieving than for agility, unfortunately. And we do actually need thieving experience as well, so that's what my line of thought is by doing here, because it's meant to be a fairly decent rate if you're trying to train both of them. And the other thing is, the shop that these are used in sells fossils. So I'm hoping we can buy some fossils to get a bunch of extra lamps for agility. Okay, I'm going to stop in this bubble and look what the best way to get there is. It might just be to swim. It's just quite a way. I don't know if I'll get there. I might get one or two loots on it. Yeah, I'm very slow without the... Uh, Flippers. But this is basically the plan. And I'm going to be slow rolling myself because you barely get any XP for actually looting them. You get most of your XP from turning in the tiers. So it's going to be impossible to tell how effective it is until the end of the session. Oh, it just moved as soon as I got there. Just going in through the holes and stuff because it might take me close. And I don't really know how to navigate this place yet. I don't feel like I'm going to get to this one on time. Yeah, it's just moved. That's going to take me close. I should use the hole. I feel like I wasted too much time swimming that direction now. I'm not very good at this. That's the other problem. This probably isn't that good even if you are efficient. And I am not efficient. Because I ain't got a fucking clue what I'm doing. But, plus side to all of this, at least we're not running rooftop laps, right? I believe you also have a chance to find fossils from these chests. So that's another benefit that could help us to stack up some, uh, some lamps. Do I have to go through there? I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, that's crazy. Took, took me right to it. I wish I could see further on my map as well. Why is that so far away down in that corner? There's no way I'm getting to it. I'm just going to stop. Wait, that's near. Where is it? I swear it just moved. When it's far away, it's really hard to tell when it moves. This isn't going to take me anywhere near it though. Uh, there's no point swimming all the way down there. I'm pretty sure it's been there. I just wish there was like a, a bubble. So I just keep going through these holes until it moves. Wait, I'm not getting XP anymore. That was weird. It moved. It doesn't help that we fail a lot when we do actually get to the chests. And then they usually move on us. Just gonna have to chill in this bubble. I'm not sure if this is gonna be at all viable at all. Because we just keep failing too often when we do get there. It costs a hundred tiers just for a small fossil. This was a terrible idea. What was I thinking? What was I thinking, honestly? That's just moved again, on it? I should get a hustle on. Not to here, this is the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, we need five fossils just to get one lamp. That's 500 fucking tears for a small lamp. It's just not gonna happen, is it? If this doesn't improve in like the next five minutes, I'm gonna have to call it. And I didn't have a backup plan, which means I'm gonna have to go to fucking Canifis and run laps. Hey, we got a fossil, but it's a rare one, the useless kind. I should have toggled those off. It's so annoying that we got the only one that has no use. Some numulite. 
We got an agility level there, 44. We were right at the edge of that level, though. Oh, it's right here, but we need energy first. Uh, oxygen, even. So that moved to a good place. If it does shit like that, we can deal with it. Just hope I can actually get past these currents to get over there. Oh, I barely had any time on that. Oh, there's no way. This is the problem. There's just so many that I just know we're not going to get there in time. There's not even any point in trying because it's going to move as soon as I get there. And I'm almost a dead anyway. Okay, it moved, but I have no idea where to. I can just see that it's down there and I'm pretty sure this one leads us down there. Only a tiny bit. Oh no, we're better off going this way, aren't we? Just swimming straight to it. Wait, there's a bubble here? Chest is OP. Oh my god. Oh no. I literally got there one loot. Oh no, wait, there's another bubble chest. Where have these been all my life? Oh no, that's actually a spot away from it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Again. Oh, every time I get to them. Oh, I think I'm going to have to give up on this, y'all. It is taking the piss. Let's trade in for... I think I'm just going to put it all on agility, to be honest. Yeah, that was, that was fucking atrocious. We can't get anything. All right, all right. I didn't bring any teleport. Can I teleport from here? Oh, please tell me. No way. <laughs> the bugs are just floating below me. Oh, what the fuck, y'all? We need some agility XP. Bad. I got 19 mermaids, tears, and an unidentified rare fossil, and I wasted a shit ton of time. Fuck. Literally, the only thing I can think to do is to go to Canopus, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and I think I probably should get some Alks, because if we're running laps, I'll hate to be inefficient. So even though I did sell my Alks the other day, uh, I'll grab some so that I can not feel like I'm being horribly inefficient like I've been for the past 27 minutes. I think I'm going to go for the... Oh, that is such a good price. Are they actually at 70? Surely not. What? I got them for 80 each. That's so good. You know how much profit that is? You realise how much profit? That's so good. Wow. Alright, we're off to uh, Canopus. Don't know why the music's not playing. Wait, did they lower the alk value of these? No, it's still 294 each. Yeah, you make like 120 GP profit on each one of these. And they're super cheap to buy, so... You don't even need a big investment to get these going. You can buy a lot of them as well. Buy limit's not an issue. <laughs> Definitely recommend the darts if you're looking to get some alkin done. Oh, we got a mark of grace, apparently. Collection log slot. Let's go, we've almost got our Graceful. I don't ever really want this account to have Graceful because that means that I've been playing inefficiently with my time limits. So, it's never gonna happen, don't worry. Should have boots of lightness on, shouldn't I? No, I fell right at the end. Oh, that's the most annoying place to fall. I think they said they were gonna change that in the whole Project Rebalance thing as well. Sucks that I'm doing this now. Cuts your XP rate so bad when you fall, though. We want those lap completions. Maybe it's worth summer pieing just so I have an agility boost. Unless we have random agility potions in the bank, but I don't know. Although we did make a budget the other day, but we sold them. Just want to get an XP tracker set up so we can actually see our goal. 48. Uh, and I'm just going to... No, I'm not going to reset the... Yeah, I'm going to reset the hourly rate because I feel like it fucked it up being at the mermaid place. But I won't reset the XP we've actually gained today so we can still see what that is at the end. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, I'm going to sum up by. I know we've got some of them. Three, not many. But we've got preserve. So we can keep our stats 50% longer, that'll help. Every little helps. 
get these rates as high as we can possibly get them because I don't want to spend two days running laps to get five fucking agility levels. Oh, there's another fail at the end. Alright, I'm already sick of this after 14 laps. We're getting such low rates. I think it's just going to be easier to do some achievement daggers. So I'm going to go see if I can get one or two of them down. Kandarin and Fremenic both look particularly easy. Let's just buy up whatever we need. I need some sort of combat gear. I'm just going to go with the MSB. We okay? I think we're okay. We could do some more ammo, really. Alright, we're gonna go on over to Camelot. 15 minutes on the clock. Let's see how long it takes me to do this diary. My music just does not want to work, does it? My gosh, I did not realise that raking was based on your farming level. I just assumed it happened at the same speed. Gonna go do the Galahad step while I'm up here. And a log shortcut. I should have probably checked if I had any of these already, shouldn't I? We got the candle. Pop this. Back to come on. Don't even have a glory on my combat bracelet on. I'm done. Get some energy too. Catch a mackerel. Come on, give me a mackerel. I don't want a pair of leather boots. Give me a mackerel. There we go. Hello, little fishy. Goodbye, little fishy. Well, we've already killed a rock elemental, but I'm not sure if it'll count or if you have to do it all in one go. Yeah, it's in stage one, so I think we have to do it in one go. Makes sense. Oh, I hope I don't need a pickaxe. Or oh, maybe it's not the ones that you wake up, it's an actual earth elemental. Like one of these ones. No, that didn't work. Oh, it did work. Did work. Camelot time, baby! About seven minutes for two and a half K. But we didn't have to run any laps. Oh, we hadn't done Troll Stronghold, was it not that one? We can do Desert. 45 agility. Does it have to be an avatar? Any grindy herb. Why is it giving me an av avatar then? Do I need this for something else? Because it could be just any grimy herb. I'll just get this because it's telling me so. Why do we get an ivory comb? That's like the most expensive, isn't it? Sell any artifact. Okay, well, we can do that after we steal one. That's fine. We don't need to buy one. Let's just go do a couple tasks and do a birdhouse run. I didn't bring the German. Big insect queen. Cut a cactus. Did not give water. There we go. Whoa, oh, I'm running the wrong way. I'm an idiot. Okay, we need a potato cacti, all the way down there. Okay, that's that one done. I think I'm just going to get out of here and go do a birdhouse run. I'm not going to lie, y'all, it's been a pretty disappointing day. We've basically done fuck all. We got 20% of our bar filled up. But, I don't know what I was hoping for. I had a shit plan. <laughs> Simple as that. I had a shit plan, did I? What was I hoping for? What did I think was going to happen? I'm going to have to come up with another shit plan tomorrow, because we're still miles away. Which is a bit of a rough one. Still got 20k to go. Going to have to really get my brain on that one, rather than uh, my underwater mermaid shenanigans. Birdhouse is done. Ready for another one tomorrow. Ready for another birdhouse run, that is. I'm, I'm going to have to get my brain working. It might be a first, but I'm going to have to do some of that way. I'll have another day like that tomorrow. How do we get 20,000 agility XP, y'all? Because laps ain't it. It's going to take days. I need to get like a 10k lamp from somewhere, but I don't know anywhere we could get a 10k lamp from. Be up in the comments if you have any ideas. Well, I'm guessing this is not going to look good at all. 20k XP gain today. 7,000 in agility. We got almost as much from our birdhouses in the three or four minutes that we spent doing those. Chili really does fucking suck. But who cares? It's my birthday. I'm happy today. That's the thing that matters. Hopefully you're happy too and you enjoyed this video regardless of the fact that I did fuck all. If you did, please do leave a like and a comment down below. I mean, if you have any ideas of better ways to do this agility training in particular because fuck. Just, just fuck. <laughs> And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss all the future videos when they do come out whenever I figure out what the hell my plan is. Until the next time though, that will be all from me. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.